Have you ever wondered if something as simple as exercise could be your best defense against a heart attack? Can exercise stack up against powerful treatments like heart stents and cholesterol-lowering statins? Stick around as we dig into the science and discover just how impactful exercise might be for your heart. Let's start with a quick quiz. See if you know the answer to this question. Number one, exercise lowers your heart attack risk, true or false. Number two, exercise is more effective than statins for stable heart disease, true or false. Number three, heart stents prevent future heart attacks in stable heart disease, true or false. And number four, statins are better than exercise at preventing heart attacks, true or false. And finally, number five, it is better to be fit and obese than slim and fit. You can pause this video, answer these questions, and we'll go over them at the end. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Bortzit, Fine Cardiology and Lifestyle Medicine. Let's jump right into the world of exercise. Exercise has short-term and long-term effects. Let's take a look at short-term effects. When you start exercising, your heart rate speeds up. Your heart is going to pump out more blood to the rest of the body. And there is even decreased perfusion in your skin and your intestines, your stomach, sending more blood to your muscles where it is needed. And your breathing speeds up. And it may even break out a sweat that helps cool down your body. How much increase in heart rate? Well, with high intensity exercise, depending on your age, you can go as high as 200 beats per minute. If you're 20 years old, your maximum heart rate is going to be 200 beats per minute. If you are 50 years old, your maximum heart rate is going to be uh, 170. And if you are 70 years old, your maximum heart rate is going to be 150. The formula is 220 minus age. That's your maximum heart rate. How much blood your heart pumps up? At rest, the heart pumps usually around five liters of blood per minute. But with exercise, you and I can double and triple that to 10 to 15 liters per minute. And elite athletes can even go much higher, 30 to 40 liters per minute. Let's look at the long-term effects. After weeks or months of regular exercise, amazing things happen you have more stamina, your heart will get stronger and your blood pressure will drop. And regular exercise can help you lose weight, quit smoking, lower your stress level, and will lower your risk of developing diabetes and lower your bad cholesterol, so-called LDL cholesterol, and even increases the so-called good cholesterol, the HDL, high density lipoprotein, and reduces inflammation. In fact, if you look at exercise, they reduce all the risk factors for coronary artery disease. The number one killer uh, in the world since 1918, the year of the Spanish flu. And studies show that people who exercise regularly have a 30 to 50 percent lower risk of heart attacks than those who don't. And even moderate activity like 150 minutes a week, 30 minutes a day, of regular exercise, walking, uh, running, uh, jogging, swimming, bicycle, uh, have a significant impact in your health. And if you exercise and you still have a heart attack, you decrease your risk of dying from any cause in the first year after heart attack by 39% compared to people who did not exercise. And you decrease your risk of having a second heart attack by 34%. Indeed, data shows that if you exercise regular and you are able to reach 10 METs, 10 metabolic equivalents of task on the stress test, your prognosis is excellent regardless of your prior history. If you had a heart attack, if you had angioplasty or stents placed in your arteries in your heart, even if you had bypass surgery. That's how powerful exercise is, predicting how long you're going to live and how well you're going to live. And if you want to learn more about the benefits of exercise, check out this video, Exercise the Magic Pill. I'll put the link above and on the description below. Now, let's talk about exercise versus uh, stents for people with stable coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease 
is due to build up of plaque on your coronary arteries, the pipes that bring blood and nutrients to your heart. And if they reach a certain uh, level of blockage, they are going to cause chest pain during physical activity caused angina or angina pectoris. But here's the surprising part. For people with stable coronary artery disease, stents do not actually prevent heart attacks or help you live longer. Exercise, on the other hand, takes care of your whole body, acting as a comprehensive preventative approach. The regular exercise has been shown to improve your heart's efficiency, lower your blood pressure, improve your cholesterol, and reduce inflammation. Factors that help prevent the plaque buildup throughout the entire arterial system, not just the arteries in your heart. Exercise facilitates the stabilization of plaque, making it less likely to rupture and causing a sudden blockage that could lead to a heart attack or a stroke, depending on which artery is being affected. For stable coronary artery disease, regular aerobic exercise, walking, swimming, cycling, can reduce the chest pain, lower the overall burden on the heart, and significantly reduce your uh, heart risk. This is something that stents simply cannot do because they do not treat the underlying disease. They just open up one narrowed area. Here's the takeaway for stable coronary artery disease. Uh, stents may and do relieve symptoms, but they don't prevent future heart attacks and they don't make you live longer. Exercise, on the other hand, not only reduces symptoms, but also targets the root cause of heart disease, helping prevent future heart attacks and other events. Let's take a look at exercise versus statins. Statins are drugs that lower your LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, reducing plaque buildup in your arteries. And for people with high cholesterol, uh, statins can lower the risk of a heart attack by about 20 to 30 percent if you take them, let's say, for around four years. But it's important to think about the side effects as well. Statins can sometimes cause muscle pain and muscle issues and can raise your blood sugar levels and can raise your liver enzymes. And if you're prone to develop diabetes, you have a condition called pre-diabetes and you are on a statin, you may develop full-blown diabetes three months before compared as if you are not taking the statin. However, keep in mind that for every person on a statin who develops diabetes, you're preventing five heart attacks. And uh, statins interfere with food and supplements uh, and like grapefruit juice and grapefruit. And to learn more about statins, watch this video on statins, avoid these supplements. I'll put a link above and on the description below. Exercise, on the other hand, has very few side effects and can even improve your mental health and strengthen your, uh, your bones. So should you use statins, coronary stents, or exercise, or all the above? For people at high risk of heart disease, people who have very high cholesterol or already have a history of coronary artery disease, statins will add an extra protection. But for people at moderate or lower risk, if you're just trying to prevent heart disease in the future, the regular exercise is actually more powerful than taking uh, statins. And you need to discuss this with your doctor, you will come up with a plan that best fits your particular circumstances. And exercise does require commitment and consistency. But aerobic exercise should be a cornerstone in a regimen to prevent a heart attack. So I would say stents relieve chest pain, but don't prevent heart attacks. Statins lower the bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol and inflammation, and helpful people for a very high risk. But exercise, offers a wide range of heart health benefits, reason why we call exercise the magic pill. Exercise is unique to each person, so you make sure you talk to your doctor to um, recommend the best exercise program for you. Let's go over the quiz we uh, presented at the beginning of the video. Number one, exercise lowers your heart attack risk, true or false? Absolutely true. Number two, exercise is more effective than stents for stable heart disease. Absolutely true. In stable coronary artery disease, stents do not prevent heart attacks and do not make you live longer. They're very helpful, 
during acute attack, during myocardial infarction, heart attack, but not in stable coronary artery disease. Number three, heart stents prevent future heart attacks in stable heart disease. No. Number four, statins are better than exercise at preventing heart attacks. No, it's false. Exercise is actually almost twice as powerful as statins in preventing heart attacks. Number five, it is better to be fit and overweight, obese, than slim and unfit. It is true, in fact. You're better off being fit and fat than slim and unfit. And to learn more about benefits of the magic pill, watch this video, exercise, uh, what type, how much, I'll put a link above and on the description below. Uh, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, a like, a subscribe, a share with your family and friends. And remember, your health, your most precious asset. Take control. See you next video.